Our brain is a fascinating organ. Damage or abnormalities to our brain may lead to surprising and unusual symptoms. In this video, we will discuss a case study of a patient who following a stroke saw odd changes to his vision and to his attention. One day, a 65-year-old man suffered an ischemic stroke. Upon arriving at the hospital, a CT scan was conducted which revealed a brain lesion to the patient's left parietal and frontal lobes. These results were supported at a follow-up examination a month later using MRI which also showed atrophy of cortical tissue in these brain regions. Immediately following the stroke, the patient experienced right-sided hemiparesis which refers to weakness or inability to move one's limbs on the right side of the body. The patient also showed symptoms of both sensory and motor aphasia, which means that the patient's understanding as well as his production of speech, respectively, were impaired. Although both his understanding and production of language was affected, his language production was impaired at a larger degree. While the patient was able to understand simple speech, he was fully unable to produce it. Following the examination, the patient was eventually released home but returned to the hospital two years later for follow-up testing. In this follow-up, the patient still showed symptoms of the right-sided muscle weakness as well as the impairments to his speech. However, the patient also showed an additional symptom that was missed in the prior exams. Specifically, the patient showed symptoms of hemineglect, a condition that is marked by the inability to pay attention to visual information on one side of the visual field. While hemineglect patients are technically still able to see their entire visual field because their visual system is intact, they still show an unresponsiveness or inattentiveness to objects and people in one side of their visual field. When examining the extent of the presence of hemineglect, a series of neuropsychological tests were conducted. In one of these tests, the patient was asked to draw a picture of a clock from memory. As we can see in this figure taken from the case report, when the patient drew the clock, he omitted several of the digits on the left hand side. This is indicative of possible hemineglect of the patient's left visual field, a finding that was supported by further testing. Furthermore, the patient also showed a general difficulty when it came to paying attention to noise or to people that addressed him from the left. Although hemineglect is a condition that is not extremely rare, what makes this case report especially intriguing is that this patient exhibited hemineglect of the left visual field following a stroke to the left hemisphere. Hemineglect is typically a condition that results from contralateral neurological damage. This means that symptoms following brain injury typically are found in the side of the body that is opposite to the affected hemisphere. For example, damage to our left hemisphere would typically result in symptoms showing in the right side of our body. This was for instance the case with the patient's symptom of motor weakness which were shown in the right side of his body. Because of this contralateral organization, our patient's hemineglect would reasonably also be expected to be shown on the right side of his body. However, this was not the case. In general, contralateral organization also applies to vision, with the left and right visual cortices being responsible for the processing of the right and left visual field respectively. Thus, while hemineglect of one's left visual field can be the result of neurological damage to one's right visual cortex, this is not the case with our patient. Instead, the patient's hemineglect was caused by damage to brain regions in the same side of the body. The question is, how is this possible? Well, the patient's hemineglect was caused by damage to higher level brain areas, namely the parietal lobe and the frontal lobe. And while the visual cortex is retinotopically organized, the frontal lobe and the parietal lobe are not. Both of these brain regions are involved with high level spatial attention, which refers to our ability to pay attention to the things that we see in our environment. The brain is organized in a fairly symmetrical manner, and the parietal lobe and the frontal lobes can both be found in both hemispheres. 
Although there is an ongoing debate on how much each hemisphere contributes to spatial attention, both of these hemispheres are significantly involved. Spatial attention is a complex process that involves a variety of interacting regions that communicate both within and between the hemispheres. Thus, while hemi neglect may often be seen as the result of contralateral damage to the brain, this does not necessarily have to be the case. As the left hemisphere is also significantly involved in spatial attention, damage or disruption to the left hemispheric regions may cause significant disruption to our visual processing and attention. We hope you enjoyed this extraordinary brain and we hope to see you in the next video.